The overall goal of this microscopy technique is to visualize protein-protein interactions at the single molecule and nanometer scale. So this method can help us to answer some key questions in the field of biology, such as molecular interactions in oncogenic signaling processes. The main advantage of this technique is that it's sensitive, specific, and it offers single molecule and nanometer resolutions. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Tao Huang, a senior research associate in my laboratory. After cloning RAS and RAF RBD PAM Cherry 1 fragments, packaging into viral particles, and infecting U2OS cells according to the text protocol, to prepare a sample for imaging, plate about 5.5 times 10 to the 4th stable expression cells per well of an 8-well glass bottom chamber slide in 350 microliters of phenol red-free DMEM. Use fresh paraformaldehyde with glutaraldehyde to fix the cells. And after replacing the fixative with PBS or imaging buffer, vortex 100 nanometer gold particles and add 35 microliters per well for tracking stage drift during imaging. Approach the microscope and power on the 405 and 561 nanometer lasers, keeping the shutters closed at this point. Ensure the 561 nanometer dichroic mirror and notch filter are in place. Open the image acquisition software, turn on the EMCCD camera and allow it to cool down, and set the exposure time to 100.